As a newcomer to the region, I've had a chance to, to move around many of the countries in the Sahel. One of the strongest images I have is from the refugee camps that I have visited, uh, be they in Burkina Faso with Malian refugees or along the Sudanese border uh, uh, where you have refugees from, from Sudan or from Central African Republic and other parts of the world. One of the most striking things for me is that in this extraordinarily fragile ecosystem, uh, uh, and in the middle of communities that are some of the poorest communities uh, on the planet, these people are still receiving uh, visitors, uh, uh, people who are running, uh, fleeing from, from conflict in their own homes, that they are somehow uh, able to or generous enough to open up their homes and their pastures uh, for the needs of, of, of other people coming from a even worse situations. It's hard to imagine uh, that they have any room to maneuver themselves. And yet, with that generosity of spirit, these communities and indeed their governments uh, are opening their houses uh, to help others who are even in greater need. The, st the thing that strikes me then is this extraordinary hospitality, this willingness to, to help a neighbour. And it's not just humans, of course. In the case of Burkina Faso, 50,000 refugees came from Mali and with them came 170,000 animals because that's such an integral part of people's livelihoods in that part of the world.